So it's been a while since I've posted an update. That's partially my fault, partially because of the camera book, partially because I'm busy. <laughs> I have a lot going on in my life right now, including being not only a full-time employee, but a full-time college student and a dungeon master for D&D, plus a podcast, plus renovating, remodeling, renewing, rebuilding the house. So... First update, the front porch thing uh, is mostly winterized. I have to get some more reflectics for the non-functional door here, but uh, I've also got the insulation on backwards, so I'm going to pull that out, put it right side in. But it's basically just winterized. I'm going to pull it down for the spring anyway, so I'm not too worried about mold or mildew or anything like that right now. I got my first 10 bags of wood pellets for the wood pellet stove, and let me tell you something, that stove is... Amazing. <laughs> I love it. Now, the only reason I have 10 bags and not an entire pallet is because I can't find a trailer to rent to haul a pallet. It's just everything's rented out and I just can't find one. So, as soon as I can find one, I'll get a pallet of uh, wood pallets for the season. <laughs> but, oh, hi, yay, yay. And yeah, the bump is still there. It's lessened a little bit since I took two of the rocks out over that little pier thing. Um, it has gone down on this side a little bit, but on this side, not quite there yet. Uh, there is one more hole. I've got to drill down here and then get that rock out, and maybe I'll take you guys on that adventure. But before I do that, I've been spending a lot of time bracing up the sides of the cabin as instructed by my structural engineer. Also, I have no idea why the person who did this remodel in like the 1980s or whenever they did it decided to use a washing machine hose to hook up the silcock outside. It wasn't even a frost-free silcock that was outside either, so I don't know. But I'm going to eventually change all of this out. The plan here is to make all of this PEX and put in an electric hot water heater because I am really tired of having a 60-gallon hot water heater in my bedroom. I've turned my deck into a fire hazard. I found not one, not two, but three, yes, count them, three landfills. Isn't this great? Oh yeah. Come on, let me show the other one. The active landfill. So, weeds and everything over here. There's the active landfill that I'm still exhuming. Let's go see the third one. Oh yeah, and the car's making a noise. I don't know what's going on with that. And there was the third landfill. It was right up here. Oh, it was full of brick. Isn't that great? Oh, that's loud. My guy, you are loud. <laughs> And that was full of brick. And I can't find a reference to there being a brick patio out here, so isn't that fun? Oh yeah, I hit a deer too, by the way. Isn't that great? And there's the brick. I salvaged about 40 pieces of brick. I don't know what to do with them. They're old brick. They can't work with the new Portland cement or they'll disintegrate, so I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with them just yet, but we'll see. Oh, my ham radio antenna is still mostly wire on the floor. <laughs> I haven't had any non-rainy days to work on the damn thing. It has been just monsoon season since about mid-August, so... <sighs> so that's the update, guys. Um, by the way, the big hole in the ground behind me, yeah, that, the whole rotted wood stuff situation going on back there, it's covered by insulation and reflectix. The whole plan is to basically get rid of this addition eventually. But I'm using it as a bedroom for now, and then just insulation and reflectix so, you know, I don't freeze to death. <laughs> But that's it. That's the update. That's what I've been doing. A whole lot of nothing right now because I had to work with a structural engineer for a little bit, which took an amazing amount of time for him to tell me, hey, I just brace up the sides, you'll be fine. And then charge me like 800 bucks. Thanks. <sighs> Hi, I'm down to 185 pounds. Looking good, feeling good. Um, and, uh, you know, yeah, there's been, some, uh, there's been some rough spots in the road, but uh, I got gigabit internet. I've got wood pellets for the season. Well, not for the season, but 10 bags ain't gonna last me all season. Um, but I got enough wood pellets to last for a while yet. I got food. Um, I got electric cooktop backup because I want to get rid of the natural gas system here, which is part of the reason I'm gonna be installing the electric hot water heater. Uh, what else is there? 
that's it. That's the update for now. Once we, uh, once I take care of the uh, last beam over here, I'll try and record that for you guys. Um, probably gonna do that tomorrow because I got D and D tonight. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, that's that's just basically where I've been at. Just been really, really busy um, digging up those landfills. Essentially, that was. Oh man. Good lord, that was a lot of work. And then getting rid of the concrete and the old school concrete, the the, the mortar concrete <laughs> and the and those bricks, man. I still don't have all of them gone. Uh, I got those 40 left. Um, not sure what to do with those. If anybody has any ideas of what to do with those bricks, please let me know. Um, and uh, that's it. That's all it. That's that's it. I've just been super super busy. I'm super busy, full-time employee, full-time college student now, and uh, and full-time working on this project of the house. It's keeping me busy. Uh, keep me active. Keep me. I'm definitely not at a lack of doing th a lack of things to do. <laughs> so um, next update I have, I will give you an update. I'll give you a tour. I'll give you a, a life, whatever, and. Um, We'll do a little more digging into the history of this house, and uh, we'll see what's what. Yeah, by the way, those bricks uh, were probably original to this cabin. They're old bricks, because all the old photos I could find, all the old tax photos I could find, all the neighbors I could talk to, not a single one of them ever saw a brick patio out there. Until my lawnmower happened to find it and snap half the blade, and then I had to get a new blade for the lawnmower. The new lawnmower. <sighs> I'm in the backyard trying to clean out my uh, new junkyard. I've got apparently got another one up there too. And uh, here's all the stuff I had to knock down. And there's still stuff back here that I haven't even seen yet. It's, it's this over here, some wood back here, some wood back here, that back there. And then there's giant pieces of wood back there, which you may be able to see. Some big logs back there, some more stuff back there, so I gotta knock all this down. And then this pile of stuff, I don't even know what this is. There's the pile of refuse. Oh, a big log there. Whatever this white crap is. And then, uh, whatever's back there. I'm not sure what's back here. Yeah, oh, more wood back there. Gotta knock all these weeds down eventually. I'm not gonna do it this weekend. I'm just cleaning up what I can right now. Hey, I got some ramps. That's kind of cool, right? Well, got that, that big thing too. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know. I need a chainsaw or something. Well, I point that out because obviously I still got this back here. I got to deal with. I don't even know what to do with these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's stupid. Oh boy. And then point all that out for this. I've already got a cart full of stuff. It's wood, nails, this white stuff. I don't even know what that is. There's a giant mat in here that is just, I know it looks like it's just dirt, but it's, look at this, like a giant blanket. Just look at this giant blanket in here. And, uh, oh, did I, did I manage to save it or did it fall off somewhere? It may have fallen off somewhere. Damn. There's a coffee cup stir. Oh, is this thing? I don't know what that is. There was a coffee cup stir in there. I think it was in the, oh, there it is. Yeah. There we go. They buried their coffee in here. I think it's a McDonald's coffee cup stir. Let me get in the light. I can't really see it. There we go. I don't know what it is. Definitely McDonald's. It's got the browns, got the coffee in there. Biodegrad biodegradable, my ass. <laughs> it's not a Dunkin' one, that's for sure. I don't know what it is. I think it's I think it's McDonald's. If anybody knows what coffee cup stir this is, uh, well, it's a like cap for the uh, coffee. I think this is a, if you could put a year on it, that'd be really helpful. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I found this thing too, buried. Uh, boy, it's uh, it's weathered. I can't even get a date off of it. That's how weathered it is. And the uh, mechanics on the inside don't work either. So uh, probably just gonna leave it and uh, toss it out. But uh, hey, if you're a flipper or you're a contractor and uh, you lost your measuring tape however many years ago that this was done, All right, so I uh, I cut a little access hole just to see if I was anywhere close to the final um, final rock that this thing is sitting on, and uh, wow, because I had to guesstimate like where everything was, and uh, check this out, um, check that out. Uh, can you see that? I don't think you can see. Oh, man. <sighs> 
there's the there's the pillar oh boy <laughs> this is just not working is it there, there, there. you see the beam on the top there all right there's the rock and I hit that spot the fuck on or what <laughs> and I need to make this thing way bigger and uh, hopefully hopefully I'll be able to uh, get my hands and my jacks down there lift this up push that rock out of the way let it fall back down and uh, if my structural engineer was correct I won't die although he says he's not 100% sure it'll fix the problem and if it doesn't, I gotta go on the outside and start lifting the house and doing all that fun shit. But yeah, that's uh, I uh, I came really close to that rock, man. And I just wanted, to, I just wanted to address a couple of things too. By the way, um, I know this is really nice hardwood tongue and groove flooring, um, and it's kind of a shame to be tearing it up like this. But at the same time, it's also uninsulated and. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I could reuse most of it, to be honest with you, but I, I still need to tear it up. I still need to make holes in this so I can fix this problem. Um, it, it can be patched. It can be repaired. I'm not that worried about it. I would put a floor over it anyway, uh, but I wanted to give you guys a little example of what I'm talking about here. This, this hump. So, oh, oh, my knees. I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but you see this? Like crack here, this is a hump coming up. Like this isn't just a joint, right? This is, this comes down and goes and glides away. This comes down and glides away-ish. Um, and it goes up and down the entire way. It gets a little bit worse over there, you can see. And then it comes up here. It's been settling um, a little bit since I took out the other two. There's a rock right over there, or was, and there was a rock right up here. Um, in fact, that X is probably close to where that rock was. <clears throat> and then there's a rock right over there. -ish. So that's why I'm getting rid of them. Just try to get rid of this hump. Um, <clears throat> even though I know the rocks probably aren't going to get rid of them, uh, I am probably going to have to lift either side of the house and, and work on the foundation a little bit. Uh, but that's just held up with bricks, so <laughs> shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, but these rocks need to go. Um, one way or another, these rocks need to be, get moved. So, um, yeah, I know I know it's a good hardwood floor. Um, it's not a pretty hardwood floor. Uh, it definitely needs a lot of work, and I would rather put another surface on top of it, but it's still going to have to come up either way um, because it, there's no insulation down there, and <laughs> it can't cold in the winter, man. Like, you can't just have a wood floor down here. You need to have something underneath it um so it's one way or another it's got to come up i'll salvage what i can and reuse what i can but uh, the way it is now in case you're wondering that's that's why there's there's just no insulation um and it, man it gets cold all right we're in we're in like sin wow let me tell you filming down here not the easiest thing ever um and it smells like um um, you ever been to a, to a mine shaft or a cavern? It smells like a cavern down here. Just more dirt. Um, doesn't, it smells, a, I guess it smells a little moist. The dirt is definitely not super dry. It's, it's, it's got a little dampness to it, but it's not like flooding or anything. But if you're ever wondering, yes, this, this rock is actually like holding stuff up. Ugh. Oh, that's not moving. <laughs> I got to, uh, uh, I got to dig some stuff out because I don't have much space here, but I'm going to take a measurement. I'm going to try to take a measurement. <laughs> and, uh, you may just have to trust me on, there we go. Come here. So it looks like we got about, uh, I don't know. Depends on how far down the dirt. About four inches. You know, four inches from the dirt to here. And uh, let's see. It's about a six inch thick beam. Yeah. So I'd say if this doesn't drop the hump, it should drop it at least a little bit. So. We'll see. We'll do some measurements after we do the lift and about the 
about four inches to the dirt, give or take. I gotta dig some space out. All right, and there's just no way for me to film this. It's just, uh, oh yeah, there's no way for me to film this. So I will film as much as I can for you guys. But uh, let me tell you something. This has been, uh, this has been a painful process. <laughs> just getting to this point. All right, I'm sure you can imagine that this is like half impossible to film. So here's what I'm taking. I'm taking my little garden spade thing here and I'm going eh, 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 trying to get some of this dirt out. Coming across some big chunks of what I think are black granite. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, so yeah, I'm just taking my spade, just digging out as much as I can so I can get my 20 ton jack underneath there. And uh, so I can have enough space to to jack this up a little bit enough to yank this backwards and um, hopefully uh, hopefully things will not fall down <laughs> all right buds here we go you are currently looking at that's the beam that's the beam that's the rock it's very very difficult for me to to show this all to you I apologize if my arms in the way we are uh, slowly going to do this. All right, I think I maybe got it this time. Maybe, we'll see. What are you looking at? Are you still looking at that? Okay. Oh, all right. I said maybe got it this time. I guess what I meant was I need to tighten that screw up a little bit more. Holy fuck. Alright. Nope, there's still gonna be a deck. Here we go. out of the way I'm sorry whoa sorry I need to get you out of the way just a little bit you'll be all right you'll be good there you go Ugh. come on you Starting to hear the cracks. Come on. Oh. Come on. Get off the rock. Get off the rock. Come on. Get off the rock. Starting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Got you. Just barely. Just barely, look at that. 
shaped rock, man, I'm telling you. It's awkward. I'll bring you guys back. Well, she's now moved. You can see where it was resting. And it appears to be resting on some more granite. So, I gotta move this a little bit more. And then, I'll, guys, I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the uh, depreciation stage. <laughs> But I gotta move this out of the way, and there's just, there's no way for me to film this and move this, I'm sorry. That's just, the, the opening's like the size of my fist. Oh, and if uh, you're wondering, there's a piece of slate or granite or something down there. I don't know what that is, but if I gotta move that, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble, but uh, without the rock there, it's, uh, i say about three and a half inches off the ground without the rock there right now. Once I, uh, once I lower it, I'm hoping to see that to be less than three and a half inches. Uh, who knows? Ugh, All right, hopefully, I had to do some more digging. Uh, this thing buried itself in the clay, so that was a, that was a shit fest. All right, pray for me. Because I'll be honest with you, if this house collapses, I'm dead. Whoa! Easy now. Easy. 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 Shh, 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 shh. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. All right, all the pressure's off of it. Pressure's off, but is the pressure off? Oh, come on. Oh. All right. That's, that's as many turns as I'm supposed to give it. Let's see. And we do. We went from three and a half inches to dun dun dun, dun to whoa to two and a half inches to two and three quarters something like that. Wow. All right. Um. Wow, we dropped an inch. There's still a bulge there. So I'm gonna have to adjust the foundation itself, unfortunately. But I dropped an inch. But we dropped an inch. We dropped an inch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we dropped almost a whole inch. Wow. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of movement. For a uh, for a beam this big, how big is this beam anyway? Six inches here. So does that eight and a half? Yeah, we'll say that's eight and a half. It goes starts at two and a half ish. It's about six inches tall. Oh, why are you? Oh yeah, that's a six by six. Yeah, that's a six by six. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but one inch of deflection is a lot for something like that to move. 
I might give this a couple of weeks to uh, sort of breathe and chill. <laughs> the hump is still there, but this is, as far as I can tell, this is the only thing that was like holding it up. Uh, and the hump's not like, and it's it's reduced a little bit. Or I want to tell myself it reduced a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, an inch of deflection on a six by six fucking massive beam like this. Oh Lord, I don't know if you heard all that creaking and cracking. That kind of freaked me out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let me see. I mean, I could definitely still tell his deflection going on here. So either side of the uh, of the structure is going to need to be lowered. But I mean, we lost a whole inch, man. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. All right, time to get my toy out of the hole. That's a massive hole, too, man. <laughs> 